Hello! How are you? Welcome back to Kids Story Time with Miss Randall. It's wonderful to see you today. Now you are going to love today's story. It's called Mr. Bear's Holiday. Do you like going on holiday? <laughs> Me too. Now when Mr. Bear and his family go on holiday, they're excited for a great time. But will it be a holiday or an adventure? Are you ready to get reading? Now don't forget to click like and subscribe. Let's go. in a tent. What's a tent? Asked Small Bear. Wait and see, said Mr. Bear. Let's have breakfast first. After breakfast, they all helped to get ready. Mrs. Bear found the tent. Small Bear found the sleeping bags. Baby Bear found the maps. Mrs. Bear organized the food, sun cream, Candles and sunglasses, hats, cups, forks, knives, spoons, matches, plasters, and four honey sandwiches, just in case. By lunchtime, they were ready. I love holidays, said Small Bear as they set off. Where are we going? Wait and see, said Mr. Bear staggering under the weight of the rucksack. It's an adventure. It was a very long adventure. First, they stopped to change Baby Bear's nappy. Are we there yet? asked Small Bear. Not yet, said Mr. Bear. A little later, they stopped to eat their sandwiches. When are we going to be there? Said Small Bear. Soon, said Mr. Bear. Be patient. A long time later, they stopped to look at the map. Do you know where we're going? Asked Small Bear. Sort of, said Mr. Bear. I'm not far now, he added hopefully. The sun was beginning to slip behind the trees when Mr. Bear finally stopped. Here we are, he groaned, dropping the rucksack. Small Bear looked around. Is this a holiday? She asked suspiciously. No, snapped Mr. Bear. It's an adventure. Small Bear's bottom lip began to quiver. Let's go and find some wood for the fire, said Mrs. Bear, and leave Dad and Baby Bear to put up the tent. Mrs. Bear and Small Bear headed for the woods. Mr. Bear unrolled the tent. Several hundred moths flew out. Baby Bear clapped her paws in delight. Oh dear, said Mr. Bear. Poor tent. Baby Bear watched in silent wonder 
as Mr. Bear struggled heroically. Rope snapped and poles bent, but at last the tent was up. There, said Mr. Bear, perfect for the four of us. I found my friend, said Small Bear, turning back. Flora loves holidays. Yes, sighed Mrs. Bear. We met Flora and her family in the woods. I, I could hardly say no. The first stars were just appearing in the sky as the Bear family and their guests sat down for supper. Sorry it's a bit burnt, said Mrs. Bear. Oh, it's delicious, said Mr. Bear. This is what holidays are all about. Firelight, starlight and supper in the open air. A large cloud blotted out the stars and from nowhere a chill wind began to blow. The bears huddled up around the fire. Flora climbed onto Small Bear's lap. Mr. Bear rummaged in the rucksack. Oh dear, he said. What's the matter? said Mrs. Bear. I forgot to pack the sleeping bags, said Mr. Bear. <laughs> Baby Bear began to cry. Small Bear's bottom lip wobbled dangerously. Never mind, muttered Mrs. Bear, glaring at Mr. Bear. We'll just huddle together in our nice warm tent. It wasn't much warmer in the nice warm tent. Look, said Small Bear, I can see stars through the roof. Yes, said Mrs. Bear, and you can feel the wind too. What's that? said Mr. Bear. What? said Mrs. Bear. That snorting sound. Outside, listen. The bears fell silent. Flora's ears twitched. Look, said Mr. Bear in a trembling whisper. There, on the wall. Ah! Screamed Mr. Bear. It is a monster, wailed Small Bear. Moo, said the monster. Mr. Bear took his head out of the tent to investigate. Oh dear, he said. Moo, snort, said the monster, leaning on the tent. Quick, let's go, yelled Mr. Bear, stuffing little bears into the rucksack and pulling Mrs. Bear and Flora after him. They sprinted away from the tent, just as it collapsed under the weight of a curious cow. The bears walked home by moonlight. Just as they had returned Flora to her burrow, a shadow swooped down from the treetops. The bear family yelled, ah! It's only me, said Mr. Hoot to Woot. You're all so jumpy. I think you need a holiday. We've only just had a holiday said Small Bear. Did you have a nice time? said Mr. Hoot to him. And the bear smiled, a secret smile. <laughs> well, laughed Mr. Bear, I think we need another holiday to recover from our last holiday. I hope you loved today's story, Mr. Bear's Holiday. Now, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you again in the next Kids Story Time with Miss Randall. Now, the winner 
of this week's book cover competition is by Ollie, age six. How awesome is that? <laughs> now, what's your favorite story? Now, if you are interested to be featured at the end, uh, click the description box down below to find out the Instagram or the Facebook and share your picture using the hashtag Kids Storytime with Miss Randall. We can't wait to see it.